Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in today's video, we're going to show you how to perform a lookup action in Power BI. And first, I would like to apologize if the title of this video sort of misled you to think that you can perform VLOOKUP or index match or XLOOKUP in Power BI because the thing is Power BI doesn't support these functions. These uh, functions, uh, VLOOKUP, index match, XLOOKUP are all Excel functions and Power BI simply doesn't support it. It doesn't mean though that Power BI cannot do it. It's just Power BI will perform this uh, look up okay in a different manner so what's important is first you have to load your file so i already fast forwarded and used get data tool to get my files in power bi if you need some uh, help in how to do this uploading of data from your local files to power bi i will put the link in the chat box i already have a video for that but now i already have this and in order for you to perform a lookup is you have to create the relationships between your tables. So I only have two tables here. I have my list of products and my sales. And take note that my list of products is sort of like a master list of the, the different products that I have. And I have here my uh, sales performance wherein I only have the date, how much were ordered, uh, what is the product key that was ordered, when it was ordered, and so on. So in my sales 2015, I do not have the name of the product that I sold. I had the product key though. So uh, my idea is I will create a table later on that will contain the product key. And I want to look up that uh, product name in my other table. So. You have to, in order to perform that, you have to connect these two tables using the relationship tool. So I have to look for any similar column between my two tables so that I could relate them. And I could see here that I have the product name or uh, product key, I mean, in my two tables. So this means that I can relate these two tables and unfortunately if you do not have any tables that contain the same data not same title take note if we're looking for same data then you cannot perform a lookup between the two tables they must be able to relate to each other to perform a lookup so i will start from the master list product key going to the product key of my sales it is important that I pick up from the parent table, like the products, it's just a master list of all the products, and start from there and drag the field onto the child table or the foreign side or the foreign key side. So there are many terminologies out there. My favorite is that I have to identify which is the parent because that is where I will start and drag onto the child product key or the foreign key as some data models uh, would tell you. So I will simply drag it over each other and I will see that Power BI managed to connect the two tables now. So I have here the product key and the product key of my uh, sales connected. So to double check if you did well in connecting, you can put your hover your mouse over this relationship line and you will see that uh, you're seeing a connection between the two. And it's also important that the master list file contains a unique list of product keys. And you will see this as a number one on the side of the master list. And you will see that there's a many or the asterisk sign on the child side. It's important. It's one to many relationship. If you are familiar with VLOOKUP in Excel, you know that if you're going to look up onto a table, then there must be no duplicates onto that table, right? Otherwise, VLOOKUP will not work properly. So here, we're already incorporating that concept and we can see that it's unique in the product master list side and many in the sales side. So we're good to go here. Now we're moving to creating the matrix or the table. So to see this, I would go to visualization 
and I have to locate a specific visual and I'm looking for the table visual for this one. Take note, if you already have experience in doing some visuals in Power BI, the matrix visual um, is not your best choice if you're going to do something like this. So I'm going to go with the table uh, visual so that I could create a table in my page. So the first thing that I am going to drag into this uh, visual is the order number, or sorry, the product key okay, from the sales. So I will bring that in under the columns. And now I have a list of the different product keys that I have okay, in my columns table. So the next one that I have to get is which, uh, what is the product name for each of these product keys. And that is something that I can derive from the products table. So I will expand the products table here. And I could see that I have the product name in my products table. And I will drag it as well under columns. So you will see that we managed to successfully perform a VLOOKUP-like um, execution in Power BI without any formula. And that is all possible because we connected the two tables together. Just to show you, if we do not have this uh, relationship over here, and I just deleted it just to demonstrate what happens when you don't have that uh, relationship line, is that when you go back to report view, it's reloading again, checking the changes. You will simply have this problem, an error in Power BI. So I will bring that back. So relationships are very important when you have uh, multiple tables in uh, Power BI. I and mean, when you go back, it's already fixed. And of course, at this point, if you want to add other columns in your table, you can simply keep dragging them into your Power BI report. So let's say that I also want to find out the total order quantity for each of these products. So I will have to drag order quantity into the columns area as well. You don't really have a choice. There's only one area for the table visual and that is the columns area. So the order quantity, I'm now dragging it here. And we're now getting a sum of order quantity. So Power BI sort of like understands that this is a value column that you have, order quantity, and you have the option here that says uh, sum. And if you want to change it, you can simply drop down and choose other options like an average or finding the count or others. But I hope with this video, and we managed to show you how to perform a VLOOKUP in a table in Power BI. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section and I will do my best to help you. I cannot promise, but I will do my best. And if ever you like this video, um, I appreciate your like and subscribe. It really helps the channel do more videos for you. And for now, this is it. And I'll see you in the next video.